Hello, I'm Robert Nelson, here to share some more information on how to be more successful with your selling. Today, we're going to discuss what is the key to becoming great in the field of sales. And the key is servanthood. Now, we're all familiar with the concepts of parenthood, brotherhood, and sisterhood. These are relationship positions, and whenever we are in one of these positions, we have a certain responsibility to the people that are within the sphere of our influence. Sales is a relationship, and the position you hold as a salesperson is that of a servant. Why? Because sales is a service. You are serving your customers, which makes you a servant. Now, I know that there's a natural resistance to the idea of considering yourself as a servant, primarily because of the negative connotations that we associate with servitude, such as slavery, oppression, and being taken advantage of. But I don't mean to suggest that as a servant, you have any less value than the people you serve. What I do mean to suggest is that if you can adopt this attitude of a servant, you can become much more effective in the service you render. What is the attitude of a servant? A servant is someone who is selfless, helpful, careful, and humble. And if you can adopt that attitude and demonstrate those attributes in your interactions with your customers, you'll get a lot farther than a salesperson who is selfish, pushy, careless, and egotistical. Why? Because when people are spending their money, they want to be treated like kings and queens. They want to be waited on like royalty. And if you won't do it, they'll find someone who will. So here's an idea that can help you shift your focus so that you can function as a servant without losing your dignity. According to the law of karma, whenever you serve another person, you are actually serving yourself indirectly. And the quality of service that you give to others will determine the quality of service you receive. So to help you remember this idea, here is your word for today. If you will do unto others as you would have them do unto you, what you would have them do unto you shall be done. This is the golden rule and is just as effective today as it ever was. So here's your challenge. Over the course of the next week, I want you to practice being more effective in your position of servanthood. During your interaction with each customer that you have, I want you to pause for a moment and consciously ask yourself the question, how would I like to be treated in this situation? You will soon discover that servanthood is indeed the key to becoming a great salesperson because he that would be greatest among you shall be servant of all. This is Robert Nelson, and I invite you to like, comment, and even share this information and stay tuned for more tips on how to be more successful with your selling. Thank you.